Hey, what's up guys? Aaron here and Apple just released iOS 8 beta 5. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new features. Now the update is available through Apple's over the air update system on iOS devices and can be downloaded via the iOS dev center on your desktop. Apple has also released an Apple TV beta software update. So without further ado, let's get into some of the changes that have occurred in iOS 8 beta 5. So the first feature being improved integration between Mac OS X continuity. Also introduced was a health application, new family sharing features, interactive notifications, a new quick type keyboard, as well as improvements to several applications such as Safari, Mail, and Messages. Now currently iOS 8 beta 5 is only available to developers. However, iOS 8 should be released to the public later on this fall. Now, iOS 8 beta 5 could be the final version, but in my opinion, we're still gonna see a GM version, which of course is a golden master version. Apple today also released OS X Yosemite Developer Preview 5. Now the update to that should be available through the Mac App Store and also through the Mac Developer Center as well. Apple has also released a new beta version of Xcode, OS X Server, as well as Apple Configurator. Now, OS X Yosemite brings an overall flatter look to OS X with a heavy emphasis on translucency as well as a redesigned dock. And some of the new features in this OS X Yosemite Developer Preview 5 are improved integration with iOS 8 through continuity, a new Today View in the Notification Center, and this new Today View is gonna offer integration with third-party apps, a retooled spotlight search with new data sources, along with several other new features for Mail, Safari, and Messages. Now, today's Developer Preview 5 is limited to registered developers only. Now, as of last week, Apple made a version of OS X Yosemite Beta available to the public to help improve with beta testing. Now, the pre-released version of OS X Yosemite that has been released to the public is not expected to be receiving as many updates as the Developer Edition. Now, another thing to note on the Developer Preview 5 is that the system preferences have the updated look with the slightly redesigned top bar. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me on this one. This has been just a quick video giving you guys a heads up on just a couple of the changes that have occurred here on iOS 8 Beta 5 as well as Mac OS X Yosemite Beta Preview 5. Now, as I mentioned before, my name is Aaron. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.